Okay, in this video I'm just going to quickly go through with you how to use the VLOOKUP uh, function in a spreadsheet. So we've got our spreadsheet here and um, what I've done is I've started it off for you. I've um, used VLOOKUP to uh, fill in this uh, cell here with uh, paintballing and if I double click on it, it will show me the uh, function that I've used. So I've used VLOOKUP and these are the uh, Parameters, so the um, so so what I filled in the brackets with uh, in the function. I'm gonna just gonna talk through uh, what each of these uh, are. So this first uh, parameter is what we're searching for in the other table. So what VLOOKUP does is it will search uh, through a column to find a row, and then it will give you the data in another column of that row. So what we've done here is we've searched for the number 8 in uh, this column of the spreadsheet over here. So the year column in this smaller table over here. What we then need to do with VLOOKUP is we need to specify a range. So I've specified that this is the range here that I'm searching. So I'm searching from F3, which is this cell here, to G7. So I'm searching the data in this smaller table over here. Okay, so if I go uh, back to my function here, so that's the range that I've specified in the middle there. And then the last thing I need to put into VLOOKUP is the column that I want to uh, get data from. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm using VLOOKUP to look in this table over here and find the trip that a uh, year group of students is going on. So the column that I want to uh, get data from is the second column in my range because this is the first column here, the year column, and the second column is the trip column. So I put two in my VLOOKUP function here. So what this does, VLOOKUP, just to go over it again, is it goes uh, to this table it finds 8 in the year column here, so it's found 8 here, um, and it will give me the data that's in the second row of that, uh, the second column of that table rather, so it will give me paintballing. Okay, so let's just go through uh, another example then of how we use uh, VLOOKUP. We're going to find out which trip that Jane is going on here. So if I uh, start my uh, use of VLOOKUP here by typing equals, because if you remember, um, every time we use a uh, function in a spreadsheet, uh, we're going to start with an equals. And then the function is called VLOOKUP, so I type VLOOKUP. So you can see it's telling me there I can use a function called VLOOKUP, vertical lookup. And then uh, I start my uh, use of the function by opening up a pair of uh, curly brackets like this. So the first thing that I'm going to put in my curly brackets is uh, the year group that uh, Jane is in because that's the column of my other table that I'm searching. Uh, so uh, I'm going to, so Jane's in year seven so I'm going to type a 7 first of all in my uh, VLOOKUP function and that and that and what that will make VLOOKUP do is when uh, I uh, well I, well I uh, click away from this cell in a moment when I finished by uh, typing the things I need to type in the curly brackets uh, it will make VLOOKUP go to the year column uh, in this other table and uh, and find the uh, row with uh, seven in the year column. We then need to tell VLOOKUP where to go. So we need to tell VLOOKUP uh, what the uh, which cells uh, of our spreadsheet to search. And uh, this is the table that we're searching over here. Um, so the range is going to be from this cell over here uh, to this cell down here. So uh, the range starts at F3. So I type F3. And then uh, I type a colon. And then I need to type the cell that my range finishes at. So that's the uh, bottom right cell of the range. And that's G7. 
So I'm going to type G7. And you can see that the uh, spreadsheet software is uh, highlighting the range that I've typed for me. And I can see that it's the right uh, range. So it's uh, from the first row of the table that's got data in it to the last row that's got uh, data in it. So that's my range typed into VLOOKUP. So what I need to do now is I need to uh, type in uh, the column uh, that I need uh, that I want to get data from, and I want to get the uh, trip that uh, a year seven student is going on from this table over here. Um, so what what I need to do is count from the uh, start of my range um, how many columns uh, across to the right that is. So this is the first column in my range, the uh, year column. Um, so this is column one. And the next column is the column that has the trips in. So it's going to be column two that I'm entering into my uh, VLOOKUP function. So if I type in column two there. OK, so if we click away from this, I can see that it's entered in theme park into the uh, trip column, and that's what we wanted to do. And uh, when you're completing this uh, task, um, what I want you to do is I want you to um, write in the formula that you've used to fill in this column into uh, this column that's got the title formula there. So I'm going to uh, paste that in there. Okay, let's go through one final example then, uh, so you uh, really are really sure how to use uh, VLOOKUP and then you can do these other examples uh, yourself. So I'm going to use VLOOKUP to find the trip that Hello is going on. So first of all what I do, um, as uh, we do with any time we're using a uh, function in a uh, spreadsheet or, a form or writing a formula, is uh, we type L equals. Then what we have to do is we have to type the name of the function uh, or, or uh, that we're using because we're using a function and uh, the function that we're using is VLOOKUP. So we're going to type VLOOKUP and we're going to, after we've typed VLOOKUP, uh, type in uh, some uh, curly brackets and um, what you'll see is uh, the spreadsheet software actually uh, comes up with some information here about how to use the function. So this can be helpful uh, if you've forgotten how to use it um, or, you've, or you're trying to use a different function and you've uh, forgotten how to use that function. You can refer to this information here and it will tell you what you need to uh, pass into the function as uh, parameters. But let's go through VLOOKUP uh, once more then what I need to put into my uh, function. The first thing that I need to put into my function is uh, the, in this example anyway, is going to be the year group that Helen is in because that's what I'm searching this small table over here for. And Helen is in year 10, so I'm going to type in 10. What I then need to type in is the range of the uh, data that I'm searching. So uh, this is the data that I'm searching here, this uh, year group um, and trip table. And uh, the range uh, that the uh, data is is F3 to G7. So it's the top left uh, uh, cell that's got data in it to the bottom right cell that's got data in it. And that's the same as um, our previous example. So we can see that uh, the spreadsheet software is uh, highlighting the um, the range that I've just entered um, to help me to see that it's the correct range that I've entered. Okay, and finally then, what we need to pass into VLOOKUP um, is the uh, column uh, that we want to get data from from our table. So uh, we want to get the trip that uh, a year 10 student is uh, going on. Um, and this is in uh, this column of the uh, data table over here. And um, what we need to do to find out uh, which number that is, is uh, to count from the uh, first column of our range um, to the column that we want to get data from. So this is going to be the first column of our range, so column one, 
and then we count across and we can see that this column that we're getting the data from is the second column of our range. So what I need to do here is type in 2 there. And that's also the same as our previous example. And when I click away from uh, typing in the formula, I can see that I've uh, got ice skating uh, filled in there in my trip column. And uh, that is the trip that a year 10 student uh, is uh, going to be going on. So that's, so we've done that right, so that's good. Um, and if you remember from our previous example, what I want you to do when um, you have finished typing in the formula in uh, to the uh, trip column of the table here is to type in the formula without the equals, so you can just see the uh, formula there, um, into this formula column so that uh, I know that you know um, what, how to write the uh, formula, so how to use the VLOOKUP function. So I'm going to paste that into there.